When I was digging through the pile of locusts that uh, was given to me, I almost left this piece lay there and didn't take it, but it, since it was small and it was easy to pick up, I decided I would take it and, and see if I can make something out of this. It really, right now it looks like nothing. But I know that there's a branch over here and there's a branch over there, and there was a little one going the other direction. Looking at the end, I can see a lot of stuff going on here and on this end. And uh, the other piece of locust that I turned had such interesting grain. I figured this piece that was going to sit on the ground and just rot, I figured I'd give it a chance and see if we can make something out of it. I'm going to have to look at how to mount this to best utilize the wood because the ends are going parallel with each other and you would want them cut on a pie shape so that you can utilize the most out of the wood. So I'm going to end up making it a little smaller, but I think what I want to do is make this the top. I'm not going to be leaving this, but I think the grain going down into the bowl is going to be what I'm looking for on those two branches. Hope this comes out the way I'm thinking. On with my tailstock as I screw it in. Work on trying to get a tenon on there. Told you it was an odd piece of wood. Well, that actually worked out pretty good. I think by the time that's gone, this is something's going to happen here. Maybe I leave it. I almost see this is in somewhat of a natural edge up here. Okay, back out here, looking at this. And Looked a lot better to me last night than it does right now, but it's still early in the game. See if we can save it. I'm gonna go with, go with about 500 on this. That's uh, that's interesting. Very wet though. This is the wettest what is piece of the locust that I've messed around with, but it's, I think it was laying in a real wet spot. It's all out in a grass field.
I've got lots of strange things going on here. There's a little shelf. I'd kind of like to leave that. Got a big void right here. Got this branch sticking up above there. I'd like to leave that. That's all hooked up with that shelf. could take a little bit more out of here. There's some rotten, soft, gooey bark right there. So that's kind of the shape that I'd like to have. I'm going to go down and work on the tenon. See how much uh, shorter I might want to make this. I I certainly have to take more off in here because I don't have strong wood right now for a tenon. I'm going to cut a little bit on this, but I just received a battery warning. I'm going to have to go get another one and change it, but I'd like to do some of this first. Okay, I'm going to switch batteries. Alright, let's work work a little bit in this bottom and get that tin in where I want it. Boy, there's some nice looking grain right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and size this tin in. That should be good. Okay, I've got this glob of wood turned around, mounted in my chuck. It's got all kinds of little things sticking out. No sense stopping now, so I'm going to turn on the inside just a little bit. Maybe I'll know whether I should keep going or stopping. That'll have to come down a little better. It's going to get real thin. Not really going to be able to do anything until I get the tail stock out of the way. I don't want to leave it right now. It's got a lot of little out stickers on here. But there's nowhere to go except I think I'll use this long handled carbide tool that I have. Just to try to get something started here. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm getting getting uh, all these knots coming from different directions. That's one reason it's really hard, but that's another reason it's going to have a lot of interest. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going on this. Just not tonight. I'll just let it sit. Be back at it sometime tomorrow, maybe. Okay, I'm going to see what I can get out of the inside of this. I got the tail stock out of my way. Alright, here we go. Almost 700.
Well, my tenon just broke off here. I was kind of worried about that. So, I don't know if that's got some rotting or what it is. But I was able to get a hole in the area where I already drilled it. And it's actually running pretty true. I'm going to cut a new tenon. And try again. I'll have to redo this here. First thing I'll do is get that out of the way so I can get the tail stuck against it. Okay. I guess I wanted to bowl a little bit shorter. I needed to get a new tenon on here. I didn't really want to lose where it uh, this where this crack comes down to the base. So I put a recess under here and I cut my tenon and my jaws can go up and fit against this recess. Well, I got it turned around and it actually runs pretty darn true. I really can't leave the tailstock in there to help me, so I just think I probably have a little better tenon on, uh, on this particular bottom now. There's too many hard spots right next to a real soft spot. That tool, if you push too hard, it'll dig into the soft, hit the hard, and then you're going to have some problems. That's the piece of the tenon that broke off. Okay. Here we go. Be a little thick. That's not really that bad, maybe 9 sixteenths. I thought it was worse than that. If I can maintain a... Oh, wait a minute. Time out. So this is pretty consistently the same thickness right here. And when I come around here, if you can see that, there's a over a half inch drop down to this. And right now I'm looking at, wow, it doesn't feel like hardly anything there, and a lot of it's just bark on the outside. Yeah, that's, that's about an eighth of an inch thick right here. Fortunately, it's pretty smooth. I could keep going, and this will just go away. Or I can leave it and have a ledge. I don't know what to do. I, I think they're both kind of interesting. Hmm. Well, that's actually, that's that all that is, is bark right there. And it wants to fall off. So, I've just made my decision. I'm going to cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut this away, and that allows me to get this thinner. So many choices. That's what I'm going to do. That's why that sounded so hollow. There's nothing there. Alright, hope that uh, you can see this. So you can see that sharp edge right there. I'm going to cut that until it disappears in the middle because it's going to fall off anyways.
in the beginning it didn't look like it was going to be anything and I think it looks like it's going to be something but I nicknamed it the blob at the beginning and I'm going to stick with that I'm going to go ahead and see if I can clean the outside up and get it all into one surface and the inside didn't shift but I might see about touching that up but that actually looks pretty good in there Okay, I'm going to put some lacquer over this hole outside. I'm not done sanding on it, but I find that in the softer woods, if you can get something in there and lacquer works good for this, it'll toughen up those little fibers and you can sand it. I also applied a liberal coat to the inside of this bowl. After letting it dry thoroughly, I sanded it, and then I proceeded to put on multiple layers of lacquer. I polished out the last coat, and then I applied Howard Feed and Wax over the final finish. The piece of wood that I started out with was pretty hopeless looking, and I wasn't very nice to the piece of wood. I nicknamed it the blob because that's what it looked like. Just a blob of wood. Well, to my surprise, it turned out to be a beautiful piece of wood. It's got the cracks over in here and it has this knot sticking out. It's got this little shelf area that I was working on, tried to decide what to do with it. The bark is really nice. The inside is just amazing. A lot of different shades of colors in, in here. It's, it's just got a lot going on. I left the bottom fairly thick because, well, I'll show you why. You see the, this not running through here. Well, as I was turning it and saw that show up, I looked at the bottom. And the bottom, right there, right beyond that is the knot. I don't see anything in here. So I just decided that if I keep going, I might lose that. And to me, that is the most impressive part of this bowl. That and the natural shape of the rim. This piece here was the, the branch that was sticking up and I just left that as a bandsaw cut right there and I didn't even really sand it. I just put finish on it. I really like how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching the process, including the part where I almost destroyed it when it broke loose from the chuck. But it still turned out just fine. As always, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I want to thank all my subscribers. I appreciate it if you uh, like this video enough to click like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. If you want to share this with friends, I would really like that as well. So thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you the next time.